Crocs at 45. Game's a long way from over, but you could just sense it at halftime, even though the Crocs were down. The way they were going about getting their points, and eventually it was going to take over. Mims on a mismatch. Gets a nice pass to Chris Cedar, and he gets the finish. Good cut once again by one of the Crocs. And that's a great set play that was called out of that three-quarter time huddle. Really, one of the Adelaide 36ers has to step up and take this game by the scruff of the neck if they're going to be able to win. And why not Stephen Way? Yeah, why not? Six foot eight foot. Pull up. You're hot. Don't die wondering. I mean, the 36ers have to have a go. They've got nothing to lose. They shouldn't play scared now. They're 5 and 14. Cedar pulls up for a three. He is automatic in this building. Oh, he didn't need any time or space on that one. Well, if he comes to the party late, this will get ugly. Ugly. <laughs> Way. Good pass into Diamond Simpson. Misses the layup. Working on his rebounding stats. He's popped in the grill pretty hard. And he misses an easy one. He just should work on his points tally. Don't worry about the O boards. Just put that in, big fella. And shoot it quick. You can't get an easier shot than that in basketball. Simpson goes to the line. He is a 49% free throw shooter. Better than Shaq. Marginally. Oh, he does. I always thought Shaq's problem was his hands are too big. It's like shooting a potato. It's true. Not that I've tried to. <laughs> I would imagine it'd be quite difficult. <laughs> Cedar again for a three. And here he comes to the three-point party. Michael Cedar has 11 in about 11 minutes, if that. Turnover. Here come Townsville once again. Gill got a mismatch with Jacob Holmes. Mims, I think that one was meant for Cedar. Ing with the board. Darren Ing puts it on the floor. This is where Adelaide have to show some character. Um, you know, it's not about getting the win, but it's about how you finish the game individually and as a team, because I'm sure all these guys are going to be judged on whether they get re-signed for Adelaide next year or whether they get picked up for another team. Yeah, definitely time to perform. 75-61, we got eight minutes to go here in the fourth. I was riding along on the bicycle, honey, that's a bicycle built for two. Looking at my honey in the rearview mirror, now I got a better view. You look so pretty. Hello, me lovely. Hi, Mary. As you were riding along. Round, round, we go round, round. Welcome back. We've got a bit more basketball here as Townsville show you why they're the top four team in this competition or close to it or the Gold Coast Blaze are well the Gold Coast are third now and Townsville fourth. This is going to be a very, very interesting run to the playoffs, particularly, I mean, you would have to say that it's really narrowed down to the five teams being New Zealand and Perth far and above. Uh, at the top of the table. Now Gold Coast in the mix with, with Townsville and the Cairns Taipans. Very, very interesting. Very interesting, especially the way the Gold Coast are playing. Another tenacious defensive team turning the screws on stops in key situations. They've had a couple of huge blowouts. 41 points they beat the Hawks by on last night. That was impressive. Shentry fouled by Stephen Way. 
Not only was it impressive last night, Steve, but they were able to back it up with an impressive win from the week before when everybody was sitting there saying, can they do it again? And they did. They did it with an exclamation point. Gill to Mims. Cedar has hit a couple of bombs in his last two touches. I'm sure Gill's aware of that. Cedar. Got to get one off. The ball was not clean. He's looking for a step back. Wasn't able to get it off clean. He knew how much time was on the shot clock. 36ers get a stop, a rare stop here in the second half. They really haven't handled this zone defense that well either. It's really stagnated you know, their whole belief and their freedom they were running with in the first half. Away with a tough shot. Censure grabs the rebound without leaving the floor. Luke Censure. 16 points, seven rebounds, and a block shot. That's good. Crick needs to be on the court. Get him back in there, young fella. 17 points for him. Crook needs to just get aggressive now. Yeah, no kidding. Crook's now rebounding the 36ers by 10. Cedar has the other hot shooter from the opponent, Darren Ng, on him. Gill to Shencher. Seven seconds on the clock. Spins his hook shots off the mark. Goes to Ng. Warren to Creek. Mitch Creek putting it on the floor. He loses the handle. Gill directing traffic. Takes it himself. Gets it up in the air. Kind of like a pass to Luke Schencher. Schencher taking his tally up to 18. It seems like he's just getting better each week that he's come back. Certainly a good time for him to come into some form. Now getting close to these playoffs. Simpson has his shot gloved by Shenshaw. Got an extra block. Throw it upstairs to the big fella. Right back at you. Simpson. <laughs> he just collapsed. Ng gets the finish over Mims. Jacob Holmes to Gill. In the center. His hook shot's good. <laughs> Two big guys going at it. Like, luck that one. <laughs> See, this is the time that Darren Ng, against his own defense, he really needs to come into his own. He's only hit one three tonight. He needs to really get himself into the game. Cedar. He's off the mark way. Reels it in. Timeout on the floor, charge of the Adelaide 36ers. 36ers have some ground to make up. Down by 16. After having the lead at halftime. What a turnaround. Huge turnaround. The guy's got to get up here. We can't just come down and burp up quick shots. We need good shots. Otherwise, it's going to blow out. That guy's trying to reduce the margin. So when it comes in, get up and trap. It's going to be hard work. It's going to be hard work. So when the ball comes out of it, you've got to turn and sprint and fill in down here. You got it? Oh, you to go. It's Jensen. So miss baskets is man to man, made baskets is 22, and match up on whoever you've got and switch back when you can. That means you're going to have probably Mims. Okay? Come on, 
Well, Shane, Marty Clark just agreeing with you. As in, you got to finish strong, got to have some pride. And, and just show, get something positive out of this. You know, up at halftime by this halftime lead by the 36ers and just, ooh. He just can't to limp. collapse. He can't limp to the siren. Can't limp to the bell like this. You gotta have individual pride. I mean, Marty Clark can't do any more. I mean, what was the difference for Marty Clark between the first half and the second half? Warren off the mark, Daniel Johnson into the back of Peter Crawford. You see the body language that, that comes with constantly losing. Something goes against you, the head goes down, the shoulders start to round. And they need, they need leadership, they need guys to be able to stand up and say, come on, fellas, let's get a couple of wins at the end of the season. Cedar gets it over the timeline, but not in time. There you go, there's a positive for them that Marty Clark wanted some doubles in the backcourt. They were able to find a way to be able to hold that up. It, the 24-second sh shot clock wasn't working. The shot clock didn't start at all. Marty Clark could be like, what? <laughs> we get a good bit of defense. And... That's what it is. It's four, roughly four seconds. Last it was longer than four seconds. <laughs> it might not have been eight, but it was longer than four. I guess you can't complain too much when you're down 16. Cedar. Crawford skips it to Chris Cedar. Great front from PC. Really found Cedar early and then just nailed him with a dart. Stephen Way. Daniel Johnson again on the rebound. Simpson comes in for him. A little frustrated. As the lead jumps up to 19 on the back of that Chris Cedar three. Chris Cedar. Nine points on three of four shooting. He's come in and made his impact as well. We've got four people in double figures, the Crocs, and another two on nine points each with Chris Cedar and, and also Peter Crawford. <laughs> Cedar's waiting for Sencher. Sencher at the high post. Throws one away. Good pressure by Stevie Way, matching up against the bigger Shencher. That's what he has to be able to do is use his quickness to be able to get up and in, try and pressure Shencher to do something else. Pressure on the passer. One of the most underrated things in the game. Bartlett creates some space. Nice little shot off the window. Great little shot. He's been a really good pickup. With Croswell going down, picking him up at late notice. The bonus. Stephen Way was walking the other way. He's saying he can't lean on him, but. Shencher just elbows him in the head <laughs> right as the whistle is blown. Because <laughs> his head is right about elbow height. Well, Shencher with 20 points. Eight rebounds and a couple of blocks to go with it. He's going to feel very good about himself. Considering he did miss such a big chunk of that season, this season, with an injury. 9 of 12 from the field. I tell you, with 
Russell Hinder going down. What a pickup Jacob Holmes has been, being able to come into this lineup because if Jacob Holmes wasn't part of this team, I'm saying there's no way they would be in the top four. Oh, couldn't agree with you more. Before Sensher's in this lineup, he's picking up the slack with the rebounds. He's picking up the slack with the scoring. Ellie Wells, little 17 footer, that's good. Good touch from the big fella. Cedar, the center, he wasn't ready for that. Good hustle by Cedar, gets it to Peter Crawford. His three ball is long. Crawford on a rip through is fouled by Nathan Herbert. Here comes the, the music that's played when someone fouls out. Certainly not a great feeling when you fell out of this venue. <laughs> you can get people standing up in the boxes and yelling at you. Oh, they get into their basketball up here, you got to love it. Especially when it gets finals time and they've got Crocs tails hanging out of their, their boots in their cars. And Remember when they were in the finals two years in a row? They lost in the semis. No, in the finals two years in a row, they lost to the Perth Wildcats in 2000 and then lost to Wollongong in 2001. Remember the contacts? Like the Croc contacts? And people were wearing those. That was some freaky stuff. Really? No, I didn't see that. I know when you come up here on road trips, they have radio stations pulling you at 5 o'clock in the morning and disrupting your sleep. Even way is fouled. Keegan Trudhope is into the game for Townsville. Comes over from the weak side. Stevie Langefield's in as well as Ben Allen. That's a good take from Stevie Way. But again, just not enough of it. I mean, he's shot nine shots tonight. Six of those have been threes. This is the first time he's gone to the free throw line and the game's well and truly done. They're down by 18 points, 17 now. But he needs to be able to be that sort of aggressive during the context of a game. Gets them both. Well, once he gets there, he's automatic. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Maybe somebody ought to... We ought to, we ought to hire somebody extra to tell somebody when they're hot. I mean, you are real hot right now. <laughs> you need to get some shots up. Because we sure know it. Chris Cedar. Michael Cedar for three. Way with a good job on boxing out. Warren to Bartlett. Gets to the rim as a reverse layup to squirt it out of his hand. Man, shoot him. Come on, get a shot up. Here we go. Pull up jump shot. Rebounded by Chris Cedar. Just got a run and start at it unchecked. Warren. Kelly Wells away. Shot clock down to five. Mitch Creek with some good footwork. You see some more of that earlier as well. It looked like no one wanted to shoot it. Trudeau. Extra pass goes to Blanchfield. Oh, way off the mark. Is that hit the rim? Yeah, just, just skimmed off of it. Blanchfield lays it up over the, way over the rim. And laid it in. Doesn't anybody want to dunk anymore? Barley with a bomb. A couple more possessions. And this thing is a result. 
Townsville after losing to Cairns, their arch rivals from Queensland, are going to bounce back as they've done so often this year with an impressive win, especially here in the second half. Barley with the steal. Gets it to Way. His three-pointer short. Shoot up to shoot it. That's long. And that's what the crowd was getting into. Croc fans get what they came here for. Townsville.